So today I'm looking at the differences between my HS720 Holystone and my DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, a little bit hazy with the Mini 3 Pro and this. This was, I think, I believe the first flight I did uh, with the Mini 3 Pro. The Holystone was the same flight about six months earlier in December, beginning of December I think I flew this particular one. Uh, the main difference is that clearly is obviously jumping around and <laughs> the Holy Stone, the Mini 3 is very stable, doesn't even move and it's even in a breeze where the Holy Stone jumps around because it doesn't have any image stabilisation. It's slightly off with the colours sometimes, a bit out of where even though there's slightly almost a bit of haze in the image with the Mini 3 Pro, it's much clearer, more stable colour. But it's also a different time of the year, so it may differ a bit. Uh, the price obviously between them is the main difference. I got the Holy Stone for around £200, where 850 for the uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro, but you got a lot more uh, uh, options, and you got the controller which comes with it, which where you can is quite good because you can fly almost as far as you got the signal with the controller. Whereas obviously the why the phone is used between the, the Holy Stone, so you lose connection because it only uses Wi-Fi, and it's about 150 meters you t lose connection most of the time after that distance very rarely get more than that uh, so it makes it quite difficult to do a film anything at a, any particular distance from you, you have to be more or less right up to it in the Holy Stone it, the Holy Stone doesn't have the zoom option where you hear on the um, Mini 3 Pro you can zoom up to twice 2x zoom capability. You also have uh, options for de like which can give more colour profile, 10-bit uh, colour. Uh, it's also the Mini 3 Pro is a little bit faster than the Holy Stone. I would say even in high speed modes uh, in the Holy Stone or the HS720 you don't have any particular it's about 12 meters a second tops where 16 meters a second in sports mode with the uh, mini 3 pro so that's i think the holy stone um the hs 720e does have image stabilization where but i just got the hs 720 which doesn't have the, any stabilization which if I knew might have changed my options because I find that's one of the things that I dislike mostly about the images jumping around apart from that it's not a bad drone, it's good for starter drone but it certainly doesn't have many of the things that I get from the Mini 3 Pro but uh, I think that's more or less covers it for the first flights I did with them